How are we doing guys? We've got some questions asking about the skinnier spacer plate and when is the time when you should be using it. You can get this spacer plate from Highway and Heavy Parts. This is actually is one of the skinnier spacer plates. It's three thousandths uh, smaller than your standard plate. So if I was checking my protrusion on my liner and I was at three or two or something like that and I was consistently that much across the board, uh, potentially I could get a smaller, skinnier spacer plate rather and that would bring me up three more thousandths. So if I was at three and I put on this spacer plate, that would automatically give me six. If you have access to or own a counter boring machine, um, it's not really advisable to use a skinnier spacer plate, uh, but they do have it available for people that that's one of their only options. So if I was measuring this thing out and my liners were dropped some and I really didn't have access to a counter boring machine, this is an available option that they sell at Highway and Heavy Parts. Um, we try not to use them and it's not advised to use them, but again, it is an available option. It, it certainly isn't going to hurt anything um, using one. The problem that you run into is these aren't going to be perfectly flat most of the time. So you might have two thousandths here and one thousandths here. So counter boring is a better option, but for the people that don't have that, this is something that can save your day and they're you know they're reasonably priced uh, they're certainly a lot cheaper than having counterboard machining done so when when should you use one um, as a last resort for sure but it certainly could save your day